Earlier, we told you about the federal government's new recommendation that all school buses have seat belts. Right now, there's no federal law on buses. In fact, only six states do. Neither Nebraska nor Iowa is among them. But school districts can make the decision on their own. And Brandon Scott joins us again live. And Brandon, what districts are in our area are we talking about? Well, John, of the districts in our area that I checked with Omaha, Lincoln, Bellevue, none of these districts have mandatory seatbelt policies. Yesterday, two Omaha public school buses were involved in accidents. Thankfully, no students were injured. This bus is just one of 269 OPS buses equipped with seat belts. It's used to transport special education students. But this larger bus and the rest of the district's fleet does not have seat belts. Nebraska law doesn't require them. In 2001, this school bus crash on West Dodge killed one parent and three students, members of the Seward High School marching band. Among the dead, 14-year-old Benjamin Prescott. His mother, Don Prescott, was riding the bus that day with her son. The bus did not have seat belts. Now, 14 years later, the Seward School District still doesn't require them. I know that Benjamin would be alive today if he had had the option to buckle up. In Bellevue, the school district boasts state-of-the-art exterior security cameras on several buses to catch drivers who ignore bus stop arms. But other than its special needs buses, the district's fleet does not have seat belts. Bellevue Transportation Director Richard Casey told WWT6 News, quote, It is our belief that the current system of passenger protection, compartmentalization, continues to be the best approach to providing passive protection in all but catastrophic circumstances, where injuries and fatalities likely could not be prevented with any safety system. But federal safety officials disagree and now endorse seatbelts on school buses, saying students are safer when they're buckled up. Don Prescott hopes lawmakers will now step in and make seatbelts mandatory. If we can do anything we can to make a, a bus safer, why wouldn't we do that? Now, of the districts I checked with today, Lincoln seems to have the most seatbelts with 60% of its school bus fleet equipped with two-point and three-point seatbelt systems. And today, we put a poll on WWT.com asking you what you thought about all this, and overwhelmingly, opinions have been in favor of mandatory seatbelts. Reporting live, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News.